Hello and welcome to our Uncle Blogger channel. In this episode, we will show you the strangest experiments that researchers have done. Stay with us. And one of the strangest experiments that one of the researchers made, the experience of death by hanging. He was supported by the researcher, Nikolai Minovitsi, and his time was at the government school of Bucharest, and in the science of crime. So much so that it is love that experiences the feeling of hanging itself, and the number reached twelve times. And then experimented with pressure by, pressing the carpet in the neck. Too much in their body, after Nikolai's failure in all his experiences to hang, he said, if you want to experience this sensation you have to die hanging and then returns once again to describe the sense and this will never happen and then transferred all his interest to the popular Roman art. This was one of the strangest experiments that researchers have done, and about the strangest experiments that the researchers presented, the experience of a sudden stop, and in which Colonel John Stab volunteered to do the experiment on himself and in which he offered himself a thrust 35 times stronger than the force of gravity and broke a record and estimated that he walks at a speed of 632 miles per hour and then presses me brakes suddenly to know the effect of a sudden stop on a person, after being exposed to a high speed like this and the number of experiments that John Stubb performed on himself reached 29, which caused concussions in the brain, broke some of his ribs, and broke his wrist twice, and many of his teeth fell and some blood vessels exploded in his eyes, scientists benefited a lot from his experiences, which helped them study space, flights, and this experience was very strange and frightening at the same time. One of the strangest scientific experiments that we had with us was the experience of head transplantation and it was at the hands of the Soviet researcher and scientist, Vladimir Demikhov, and he was very interested in the science of organ transplantation and in his time to perform the first surgery to transfer the heart of a dog and to be killed because of the death of the dog in a car accident. But Vladimir did not give up and decided to use his equipment for surgery but this time was to transfer the head of a dog to another dog, and he succeeded in it very much, and I appreciate that he transplants another head for one dog, and although the experiment was very successful, the dog could not live more than a month, and this was one of the strange experiences, but it paved the way for the transfer of the human heart. Thank you Vladimir for me your efforts. One of the strangest experiments carried out by a researcher is the experiment of sexual transformation, which was carried out by the scientist, John Main, in Canada in 1965, in which he used the child, David Reimer, to experiment. And this is, after he became known all about the accident that he suffered during the circumcision process which took place eight months after his birth, and in which his penis was burnt during the operation. That was because doctors use an electrocautery needle instead of using a normal surgical scalpel. The psychologist, John Main, got to know David's father and suggested to him a solution to his problem. He offered him the idea of changing his gender. Although it was a very strange and frightening idea for the child's parents, they were forced to finally succeed in performing the operation, and then they discovered that this idea was to prove the result of the scientist, John, that sexual identity is determined from inception. Not by nature. And in which he used the child, David, for his own experience and personal benefit, and indeed David turned to Brenda by installing an artificial vagina and taking hormonal supplements. Drive. Manny, was always talking about the success of his experience without mentioning the negative effects of Brenda's surgery, and she was behaving at times as a child, and her feelings were very turbulent and conflicting at the same time, and worse than that, Brenda's people hid from her what happened until she reached the age of 14 a year later, after the people of Beranda felt guilt and fell into a state of depression. Brenda decided that she would bring David back again. Of course, this caused him a very bad psychological state, 
which eventually led him to commit suicide. We go to the scientist Isaac Newton and his experience by putting a needle in his eye, and as we know Newton's research was about gravity and the work of the laws of calculus that founded modern mathematics, but at the same time he was very interested in the field of ophthalmology and did many experiments in optics, but I thought that his experiences were I was not enough to know more about the anatomy of the eye and how you can distinguish colors. Newton did his strangest experiments and put a needle inside his eye, which penetrated between the eye and the bones, and according to the schematics, it was near the back of the eye. Of the schematics, there are many scientists currently in the field of optics. One of the crazy experiences, jumping from the Eiffel Tower, was carried out by the Austrian tailor Franz Reichelt and it was on February 4, 1912, and Franz was testing the first parachute that was made by him and he wanted to make sure that this parachute would protect people, if they were exposed to a plane accident or not, and indeed France jumped from the Eiffel Tower, but unfortunately we didn't wake up the umbrella while trying it and he died, and then they developed the shape and materials of the umbrella in order to actually protect and save many lives at the present time. Thank you France. If you like the video, do not forget like and subscribe to receive all new.